It's the Express Summer Festival. Tarek Smate on the call on NorthPoleHoops.com. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. We got big game here right now. Vanier College Cheetahs taking on QC United, formerly Thetford. And we got a lot of talent on display. Got a chance to watch the Vanier Cheetahs in their game last night. They put a whooping on Team BB. I don't expect the same in this game. We got a strong QC United squad with a lot of size, a lot of athleticism. And on the controls for Vanier College is Steve Joseph at the point, number five in red. Joseph with it up top, kicks it out to Quarry. Wine knocks down the three, but they will not count it. There's a foul off the ball. Quarry Wine, 2018 6'5 wing. It's a prospect to watch out for coming into the CJEP season for 2017 2018. Number eight is the one to watch in white. Exodus is his name. 6'3 point guard. Still a little bit of an unknown prospect. However, after speaking with the coaching staff at Thetford, they're telling me he's definitely a guy to keep a lookout for. Daho on the cut. Nice attack there. Very high IQ player is Daho, a 2018-63 guard for CIS programs watching. He's definitely a nice addition to any CIS program. Shout out to All Youp TV, joining the North Pole Hoops family here in Quebec. Lots of talent and lots of teams to highlight. And Ollie does a hell of a job with that. Thanks to Dan Lacasse and the St. Laurent Express for hosting North Pole Hoops. This is uh, one of the tournaments that you definitely circle on your calendar year in, year out. 175 teams strong. Thetford will get to the line. As Vanier huddles up to talk it over, Steve Joseph taking on, or trying to take on leadership role, but nevertheless, the team showing maturity there as they try to right the ship. One nothing early on, Vanier College and QC United battling it out here at the Express Summer Festival. This QC United team will be joining us at the CNIT third annual, July 21st to 23rd. So getting an early look at the talent right now, definitely some division one prospects and some high level, next level players at various levels. Here's Daho for three. It's number 23 in red, no good that time. Good defense here by Steve Joseph, not giving a lot of room for Exodus. Tried to find the roller there, but a miscommunication. Steve Joseph, guarded by Exodus. It's the point guard matchup. No question will be one to track. Joseph pulls up off the mark, and it'll be QC United basketball. 
Exodus bringing it up the floor. Go, going left. And a nice finish with the left there. Number eight in white, Exodus showing a good change of speeds. This Vanier team, although young, if they can really put it together throughout the next couple months, going, to, going into the CJEP League play, they got an interesting combination of players. They got some point guards that can handle it and create space and create plays. They got some size in 6'10 and 6'8. And then they also got a lot of size on the wings at 6'4 to 6'6. Again, Quarry Wine, number 13 in red, is a rising senior to look out for. Dow steps back, gives it up to Wine. Long strides to the rim and misses a bunny. Here comes QC United. Attacking the rim. Floater game, Steve Joseph is off that time, hustling up. He is showing a high motor right now, but it will be QC United basketball. All the way to the rim. Good, strong take for QC. And they'll be rewarded with two free throws. Not a lot of scoring early on. Score is still only 2-1. Both teams playing pressure defense. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. We are at the Express Summer Festival. Montreal, Quebec, loaded with talent year in, year out. It just, the same story. These kids out here don't even know how good they are sometimes and how good they can be as they continue to put in work. Here's Steve Joseph bringing it up. To Josh Kulamala, miscommunication there. Corey Wine was thinking back door. Josh Kulamala was trying to set him up on the wing. Patience here by QC United. Got a high screen there, did not use it. The big fella, number 11, with the attack to the left. I'm gonna make sure to get his name in a second. Good finish there. Extends the lead to 6-1. 6.24 left in the first quarter. Completes the three-point play, making it 7-1 the score. Steve Joseph to wine. Mmm. And that right there is fine like red wine. Makes it 7-4. And cuts the bleeding for Vanier. That's the one thing about wine is got great size for his position. Has a pretty good skill set as well. He's proven he can hit the mid-range. He can shoot from deep and a pretty nice stroke as well. Big boys battling down low. Good defense there by Kulamala. Behind the back he goes, out of control. And possession will remain with Vanier. Tell you what, I definitely like the pieces here that Vanier has. Steve Joseph tries the fake there. Turnover though, here comes QC United. Out of control, both teams a little sloppy early on. Here's Khalifa Kulamalo, a nice looking prospect in the class of 2020. Khalifa and Joshua Kulamalo. Cousins out of Gatineau, Quebec. Hey. 
Game is brought to within one, 7-6 early on. QC United up on Vanya as Harris Elizovich checks in, number 21 in red. Another good looking prospect at 6-7. Good passer, high IQ. Pull up, pull up game there for QC. Off the mark. Here comes Neginyu Nagala. Good finish there by Helizovic, showing his game in transition. Oh, nice move there. Everything but the finish. Number 11 for the QC. He tried the Euro step, avoided the defender, but just couldn't finish. Exodus, stops, floater, I like it. Elizovic tries the home run play from Nugala. Turnover for Vanya. 4.22 left in the first quarter. High level ball game right here. Expect it to be close all the way through. Here's Exodus bringing it up. Back to Exodus on the handoff. Passes out, attempt the three though, there's a pump fake. And the three is good for QC. 12-8. Nice thing about Vanier is they got two capable, more than capable point guards that could play off of each other or run the show to buy some energy. Here's Joshua Kulamala all the way to the rim. Tough shot. Gets it to go with contact. The lead's brought to within two once again. 12-10. 3.30 to go. QC, United elects to settle it down. There's seven seconds on the shot clock. Kick out there to Exodus for three. That's off the mark. And it will be Vanier basketball. Thanks to everyone for tuning in on the live broadcast here at the Express Summer Festival. Be sure to follow us online on social media at North Pole Hoops, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We got you covered. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel to get the latest in Canadian basketball action. Nice move there for Vanier. They're talking it over to see if they're going to count that one. And it looks like they will. Lots of pieces for this Vanier squad. Very deep, young but deep. Multiple contributor, contributors coming from every angle, every position. Naginyu on the ball, good defense and good help defense there on the double team. And it comes up with Nugala. Bounces it to Kulamala. Nice finish there by Khalifa in transition. And Vanier gets their first lead, 14-12. But QC takes it right back, knocking down that triple. 2.25 left in the first quarter. Gala says, I got you covered. I see you and I raise you three. I like the energy here from the Vanier Cheetahs. Intense defensively, putting on the full court press right now. We're looking at a full court press broken with one pass, but a near turnover there. I like what Coach Herzog and the Cheetahs are doing right now. 
giving QC a different look. Good defense by the bigs, but a nice cut. No good, misses the layup. As Nogala with the spoon feed down low, I like it. These point guards can really go here for Vanier. Good vision and passing ability. Vanier with their biggest lead of the quarter, 20 to 15, 130 left in the first. Exodus, three ball there for QC. That's off the mark. And here comes Khalifa Kulamala. Pass it to his cousin Joshua. Back to Nugala, he hit the last three. Directing traffic here. Kulamala to Harris Elizovich, nice spin there. Pump fake and the finish. I like what I'm seeing right now from Harris Elizovich. That will lead us to our first timeout. QC United wants to talk it over. 22 to 15, a minute left in the first quarter. It doesn't matter where you're from. Or what background you are. How small you might be. What matters is heart, will, and effort. Let's go. Prove to yourself you belong. If you can ball, the time is now. Exposure starts here. NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots level to the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts three-day camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure, skill development, and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at NPH's National Showcase Circuit. Okay, let's keep it going. Keep the intensity high. Get your feet square. Get your feet square. Take your home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it. Master. AJ Lawson! Go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, kill him! Welcome back. First quarter action still here. Vanya Cheetahs, QC United. 35 seconds left to go in the first. Nice pass there down low. Daho on the cut. The squad can go. Twenty seconds left in the first. Here comes Vanya again in transition. Nice pass from Daho with the finish. And right now the Cheetahs are gelling. Great energy. And number four for Vanier, I'm definitely gonna have to get his name. Didn't see too much from him yesterday, but in this one, he has been leading the charge with his motor, his energy. I like his body language. Again, for Vanier, just a lot of different weapons coming at you. No good on the three-point play, but Harris Elizovich is there to clean it up. Nice three ball there. Finally able to cut the bleeding, bring it within eight. Seven seconds to go. Nugalu wheeling and dealing. Daho on the baseline, attack. And he's fouled for two with 0.9 seconds. Good, strong attack there by Daho, number 23 for Vanier. The rising senior, John Frederick Daho, 6'2 combo guard. Really like his game. Efficient. 
can be a secondary ball handler, but typically is just an efficient scorer. Score in a lot of different ways within the system. Here's full court pressure on the last possession for QC. That will be it for the first quarter. Strong first, first on, on our hands. 29-20, Vanya Cheetahs lead QC United. We're about to jump into the deepest talent pool that we've ever had. In most recent history, we've seen guys like Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Christian David, Abu Kigab, Jalen Warren, all have phenomenal showcases, which led to an increase in their exposure and an increase in their recruitment. That is by nature what North Pole Hoops provides at these camps. But I want to put it into perspective on just how much exposure you can get in three days at camp. A report goes out to over 100 NCAA coaches, CIS, JUCO, CCAA, and most recently we're being contacted more by NBA personnel. Then there's 100,000 in viewership on NorthPoleHoops.com. Then there's the live stream that goes on. Bang for the buck, there is no other camp that I've seen in North America that provides this much exposure. My job as a national scout is to identify the prospects at camp and make sure that we track their progress throughout the high school season, the club and AAU season. From there, we build a profile for them online through our database and make sure that these kids are getting ranked and seen by coaches who are subscribed to our service. The NPH Showcase coaching staff are absolutely a vital part of this camp. Um, you know, we got all Americans, all Canadians, guys who have been drafted to the NBA, people like Kyle Julius, who's currently coaching professionally, Mike Cabongo, all American. They kind of set the foundation and provide the blueprint to these prospects that come in and are looking for exposure and development. Are you a top prospect? Are you underrated? Or just looking for competition? If you are, register today at showcase.northpolehoops.com. As always, Game Speaks. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Welcome back, second quarter action. Quarry Wine in transition. Hammer time, number 13. The rising senior is showing what he's got to bring to the table. Exodus being guarded tightly by Vanya. Love what I'm seeing here from the Cheetahs. They are definitely running like they are in the jungle right now. And QC has not found an answer. Harris Elizovich on the lead pass. I, I like how they're playing. They're looking to push, run and gun. They definitely have the personnel to do so. And just careless play here by QC. Corey Wine takes advantage of the easy lay-in. And that is a back-to-back -back turnovers thanks to the pressure of Vanye. Again, Unigala gets the screen from Harris. Nice seal. Got to find him if you're, if you're the point guard. Daho launches the three. No good. Good attack there for QC United. Get back to the line. Right now they find themselves down 33 to 20. We shall see how QC United responds. Big run made here by Vanye at the end of the first quarter and have moved it into the second as well. Corey Wine pulls up in the mid-range. You're seeing the full package here from Corey Wine. Mid-range, three ball, 
athleticism in transition, and QC United, QC United right now, not United, more frustrated at this point. Wine, again, to Joseph. Three ball, no good. Harris, working the glass. But QC United comes up with it. Kick out. Three ball, much needed right now. Is QC down 12. Pump fake, used by Daho. Good idea, but unable to finish. We'll take a quick break and be back for second quarter action. NPH events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. Now is your chance to get involved with the fastest growing sport in Canada with the industry leaders and influencers. Get in the game today and join MPH in growing basketball in this country. Is it something that I've done again? Say what? Here's Campbell, look out! One hand down! Seeing is believing. Create your very own mixtape that showcases your top highlights and skills. Available at all NPH events. Exposure starts here. We are back 37-22. The Vanier Cheetahs in firm control of this game. And they're just simply playing in a different gear. Up tempo, definitely running like Cheetahs. And guys are playing their positions correctly. The point guard leading the way. The wings are running up and down. The bigs are rebounding. I have to say, as I look down, up and down this roster, 1 to 12, it seems like every kid could play at the next level. Whether that's D1, Canadian University, or Junior College or CCAA. Nice finish there for the big fella, number 11 in white. He's going to have to get it going. They're going to need him. Arguably the only mismatch on the team outside of Exodus, who's been carrying a lot of the load for QC. More full court pressure from QC United. It's definitely been, excuse me, from Vanier. It's definitely been working in their favor. 
as they have the biggest lead of the ball game, 39-24. And the guy to break it is number eight in white in Exodus for QC. Pressure is broken in the full court, but still adding it in the half court. Exodus elects to shoot the three way off there. And the team defense right now is gelling for the Cheetahs. Defense to offense here. Nice finish there for QC United with the exclamation point. See if QC can build some momentum here after that last possession. It looks like, oh, it looks like QC United is going to need to spread the floor a little bit more to open up space because the Cheetahs are meeting them down low with ease. Free throw short. 12 point game here. Vanier looking good early on. But this game's far from over. QC United has the talent to make a comeback. They're going to definitely have to execute at a higher level and limit their turnovers. So far, it's been the Vanier Cheetahs full court pressure that's been the difference. Steve Joseph to Kulamala. Good off-ball movement. Joseph on the pump fake. Looks to attack all the way. Is met by the trees. Forced it a little bit. And it will be QC basketball. Motor game there, no good. Corey Wine, another three ball. Back to back there for Wine. And he's been impressive. Scoring it with efficiency. Kulamala to his cousin Joshua Kulamala. Back to Khalifa, just an extra pass there. Khalifa probably should have shot that one, and he knows it. Forty-two twenty-seven. Four thirty left in the second quarter. Still a lot of basketball to be played. Shot clock against them, and that's not the first time. Vanier playing exceptional team defense here. Naginu pulls up. No good.
Great defense once again by Vanier. Cross step there for Wine. Missed his teammate who was wide open waiting. But will get to the line regardless. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Express Summer Festival here at St. Laurent Secondary. 150 plus teams at various age groups with both genders. Shout out to Dan Lacasse and the St. Laurent Express for having North Pole Hoops back. The top notch program and a top notch tournament here in Montreal, Quebec. Wine knocks down that free throw and extends the lead to 16. Good finish there for QC, much needed. Have a chance to cut it to 13 with a three point play. Back home, we got the Toronto NPA Showcase going down at the Gold Ring Center at University of Toronto. Lots of talent on display. Shout out to the NPH family holding that down as we take in Montreal talent. We got teams from Quebec, from Ontario, but also from New York stateside. Less than four minutes to go here. Good defense. You love to see guys, you know, that maybe lack size, especially at the point guard position, but still able to defend their position and use their lack of size as an advantage to be pests, to get under the opposition skin. Through pass there for Harris Alazovic. Back to Nugala on the controls, guarded by Exodus. In and out he goes, kicks it out. Mugala trying to create some space, break down his defender. And ends up with one. There was a foul, but no call there. And they're going to call a 24 second shot clock to regain possession for QC. Forty-three, thirty-one. Less than three minutes to go in the first half. Here's Corey Wine guarding and see what we, he can do defensively. He's definitely shown what he can do on O. And there, pull-up jumper, no good for QC. And Vanny's gonna run. Nugala on the attack. Tough shot, forced. Did not need that. Had other options. And that's what the point guards got to learn to do a better job of. They got to learn how to control tempo and make teammates better. Cutter is wine. Nice cut there. Just too big, too strong there for the defense. Expect him to make noise this senior year. One of the upper echelon prospects in the country for the class of 2018. And QC United still trying to figure this puzzle out. 
but the guards are being met by the trees. Got to learn how to drive and kick because they are certainly drawing double and sometimes triple teams. Two shots for QC United. Fortunate there that they got the call. Stick around with us all weekend. We're here, North Pole Hoops, at the Express Summer Festival. It's the second live broadcasted game. We'll have more later tonight. And make sure you follow us on social media to know about the upcoming scheduled broadcasts. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Follow us at North Pole Hoops and make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel at North Pole Hoops for the latest in Canadian basketball. Good defense there by Nugala. Picks the pocket of Exodus on the finish. Great body control there to finish with the left. Minute and a half to go in the half. Exodus, they need something right now. Biggest lead of the game, 18, 49-31. QC does not look in sync in this game, and it's been a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball there, but Exodus finishes with the left. Tough finish. Good block there, but they're called for the foul. Free throw, good for Vanier. Lead is back to 18, a lot of whistles here. Near the end of the first half. Vanier with a lot of points on the board already at 51. Looking like they're gonna break the century mark by the time it's all said and done with this game. Ginyu to Kulamalo, tries to break it down on the baseline, back to Nugala. Kulamala moves it around, deep shot there by Nugala. He's got it cooking right now, extremely confident point guard there, and definitely one of the top point guards in the class of 2020. Extends the lead to 20, the largest lead of the game. And 
Something tells me QC United is going to hear it from Coach Igor Wegma at halftime. He's going to try to light a fire under these guys. Simply put, Vanye has brought it, and QC United has it. It's a lot more energy, a lot more intensity, particularly on the defensive end. They've been consistent all the way through. Thirty-six seconds left in the half. Corey Wine building his stock by the game. Curly taking a breather as Kulamala kicks it out back to Ginyu. That's a heat check right there. Exodus has been the lone bright spot for QC. And he makes it look easy on that finish. Has a really nice change of speeds. And Ginyu, pump fake, throws it up. Couldn't get it to go. And that will lead us to the end of the first half. 53-37 is your score. The Vanier Cheetahs in full control. Are you looking for exposure? Take your basketball event to the next level by live broadcasting with North Pole Hoops. Promotion, game film, play of the day, and much more. Email us at info at northpolehoops.com for further details. Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer? Throws up an alley you! Alamo Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know. What's your story? Rep by rep, you push yourself. Effort is only half the battle. Doubt sets in. Why do you do it? Is it worth it? The lights turn on. All your questions are answered. We've traveled across the country and back. Six years running. Canada's basketball talent blossoms right before our eyes. From coast to coast. It's our job to bring it to the light. No gimmicks, just hard work on the hardwood. Who will step up to the plate this summer? Who will make their game? undeniable and challenge every man in front of him game will speak it doesn't matter where you're from or what background you are how small you might be
What matters is heart, will, and effort. Let's go. Prove to yourself you belong. If you can ball, the time is now. Exposure starts here. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. NPH Events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. Now is your chance to get involved with the fastest growing sport in Canada with the industry leaders and influencers. Get in the game today and join NPH in growing basketball in this country. Seeing is believing. Create your very own mixtape that showcases your top highlights and skills. Available at all NPH events. Exposure starts here. Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take your home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, Jalen. Oh my god! Top 10. Top 10, top 10. Two-way players are the best players. Understand that. Two-way players are the best players. Here's Sabri Phillip, two-way jam! Let's go, boy! It doesn't matter from what city you're from, how tall you are, what school, what club you represent, the game speaks. There's no politics here. Rep by rep, you push yourself. Effort is only half the battle. Doubt sets in. Why do you do it? Is it worth it? The lights turn on. All your questions are answered. We've traveled across the country and back. Six years running. Canada's basketball talent blossoms right before our eyes. From coast to coast. It's our job to bring it to the light. No gimmicks, just hard work on the hardwood. Who will step up to the plate this summer? Who will make their game? undeniable and challenge every man in front of him game will speak it doesn't matter where you're from or what background you are how small you might be. What matters is heart, will, and effort. Prove to yourself you belong. If you can ball, 
The time is now. Exposure starts here. Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer? Throws up an alley -oop. All ammo! Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know. What's your story? Are you looking for exposure? Take your basketball event to the next level by live broadcasting with North Pole Hoops. Promotion, game film, play of the day, and much more. Email us at info at northpolehoops.com for further details. NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots level to the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts three-day camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure, skill development, and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at Welcome back to Vanier versus QC United. Second half action, 59-41. The Cheetahs in full control, but QC has definitely come out with a little bit more energy here and are look to be waking up in the third quarter. Steve Joseph with the rock. Looking for some teams to fill the CNIT. The team that's on my radar right now is the Vanier Cheetahs, no doubt. Looking like a team that can really do some damage. Three ball, no good. Quarry Wine picking it up in transition. Big fella gets up to get down. Loss of potential right there in a 6'10 freshman for Vanier. So he's a 2020 prospect. And that is Pierre Olivier Racine. Another player that will be enter entering the MPH national database. Vanier playing with some real substance here, thinking the game. Spoke to the coaching staff at halftime. They were not happy. I thought they played pretty well, but coaching staff were not happy with the turnovers and the lack of ball movement. Take a quick timeout. Be back for third quarter action. 61-41, 20-point lead for the Vanier Cheetahs. NPH events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. 
Now is your chance to get involved with the fastest growing sport in Canada with the industry leaders and influencers. Get in the game today and join MPH in growing basketball in this country. Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take it home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, Caleb. Oh my god! Top 10. Top 10, top 10. Two-way players are the best players. Understand that. Two-way players are the best players. Here's Sabri Phillip, do a jam! Let's go, boy! It doesn't matter from what city you're from, how tall you are, what school, what club you represent, the game speaks. There's no politics here. Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer? Throws up an alley-oop! All elbow! Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know, what's your story? Welcome back to third quarter action, 61-41. Nothing but Vanier Cheetahs right now. That's QC. He's fouled. They'll take it out of bounds. Diddler Exodus with it. Another tough bucket. Has a great understanding of angles. A 6-3 PG. One to look out for. I'm gonna give you guys some breaking news here on this uh, broadcast as Thetford will be a part of the National Preparatory Association next season. And Diddler Exodus will certainly be one to keep tabs on. Big congratulations to the Thetford program, Igor Regma, as they got Chris Boucher after Oregon, his career at Oregon, just signed a two-way deal with the Golden State Warriors, meaning that he'll be playing some D-League ball as he gets developed with uh, G State's D-League affiliate, but then also still be able to move up throughout the course of the season when he's ready. Great fit there for Chris Boucher. At 6'10", mobile, versatile on both ends. It's going to fit in really well with Golden State and their system. I love to run up and down and like to get buckets from every position. Pierre-Olivier Racine. He's a big guy and he's definitely playing big right now. At about 6'9", 6'10", strong body. Class of 2020. That, my friends, is what you call a sleeper. First look at the big fella out of Gatineau, Quebec. A true hidden gem. Diddler Exodus with it. Guarded by Steve Joseph. The big shot to work some high low. Lots of congestion in the paint. And they are going to call a shot clock violation. It's 
Steve Joseph with it. Wheeling and dealing, moving it over to Kulamala. Big fella is getting his touches right now. Pierre Olivier Racine making the most out of it. Pretty nice stroke there too for the big fella. Knocked down the first free throw. Splits him. As Diddler Exodus brings it up. Moving around, Melvin Rusuis. Back to Diddler. Knocked down triple. For number one, Melvin Boussis. 65-46, QC trying to chip away, but find themselves in a major hole. Khalifa Kulamala for three, no good. But chases it down, great hustle there. Great hustle for Vanier, poor concentration for QC. Oh, I love it. Big fella gives it up, finds the lane for the cut. Get it, get it, but Quarry Wine finishes baseline. You're looking at a potential CCAA national champion in Banya. Obviously got work to do, but have all the pieces and all the rules filled to make some noise, and that was a nice move there. A rare move, the first time we see the big fella operate like that. It's number six for White, does not seem to be on the roster. We'll get that checked out. Pops up there from Melvin Rusis. Can't get it to go. And it will be Vanier Cheetah's basketball. Joshua Kulamalu up top, moving it to Corey Wine. Big shout out to All Youth TV in the house here, in partnership with North Pole Hoops. Going to be doing some big things for Quebec exposure wise. Here comes QC down the lane. Melvin Roussis is fouled.
70-49, a blowout here. And the Vanny Cheetahs in full control. That would be back-to-back -back blowouts for, for Vanny, and they could go on to win this tournament. Malcolm on the attack, met by the big fella Pierre Olivier Racine. P.O. want to call him, P.O. Racine. Nice spin on the baseline, a kick out. Obviously he's got the size and the strength and mobility, but also just as impressive as his IQ and feel for the game. Danny will take a timeout. And we will take a short break as well. Two minutes left in the third, 70-49, Cheetahs. We're about to jump into the deepest talent pool that we've ever had. In most recent history, we've seen guys like Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Christian David, Abu Kigab, Jalen Warren, all have phenomenal showcases which led to an increase in their exposure and an increase in their recruitment. That is by nature what North Pole Hoops provides at these camps. But I want to put it into perspective on just how much exposure you can get in three days at camp. A report goes out to over 100 NCAA coaches, CIS, JUCO, CCAA, and most recently we're being contacted more by NBA personnel. Then there's 100,000 in viewership on NorthPoleHoops.com. Then there's the live stream that goes on. Bang for the buck, there is no other camp that I've seen in North America that provides this much exposure. My job as a national scout is to identify the prospects at camp and make sure that we track their progress throughout the high school season, the club, and AAU season. From there, we build a profile for them online through our database and make sure that these kids are getting ranked and seen by coaches who are subscribed to our service. The NPH Showcase coaching staff are absolutely a vital part of this camp. Um, you know, we got all Americans, all Canadians, guys who have been drafted to the NBA, people like Kyle Julius, who's currently coaching professionally, Mike Cabongo, all American. They kind of set the foundation and provide the blueprint to these prospects that come in and are looking for exposure and development. Are you a top prospect? Are you underrated? Or just looking for competition? If you are, register today at showcase.northpolehoops.com. As always, game speaks. Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer? Throws up an alley-oop! All ammo! Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know, what's your story? A minute left to go here in the third quarter. Vandy up 72 to 49, contributions all across the board. You look at this team 1 to 12, they got a lot of firepower and fill roles in different positions. Pierre Olivier Racine, we've seen what he can do in this game, and that was Khalifa Kulamala, another freshman for Vanier. Nice pass there by Edson Paul, and the finish with J. Paul Mahi. That will be it for the third quarter, 75-51. QC United in a major hole right now. And they're gonna need to bring it 
the fourth and final quarter just to keep it respectable. Are you looking for exposure? Take your basketball event to the next level by live broadcasting with North Pole Hoops. Promotion, game film, play of the day, and much more. Email us at info at northpolehoops.com for further details. It doesn't matter where you're from. Or what background you are. How small you might be. What matters is heart, will, and effort. Prove to yourself you belong. If you can ball, the time is now. Exposure starts here. NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots level to the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts three-day camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure, skill development, and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at NPH's National Showcase Circuit. We're about to jump into the deepest talent pool that we've ever had. In most recent history, we've seen guys like Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Christian David, Abu Kigab, Jalen Warren, all have phenomenal showcases, which led to an increase in their exposure and an increase in their recruitment. That is by nature what North Pole Hoops provides at these camps. But I want to put it into perspective on just how much exposure you can get in three days at camp. A report goes out to over 100 NCAA coaches, CIS, JUCO, CCAA, and most recently we're being contacted more by NBA personnel. Then there's 100,000 in viewership on NorthPoleHoops.com. Then there's the live stream that goes on. Bang for the buck, there is no other camp that I've seen in North America that provides this much exposure. My job as a national scout is to identify the prospects at camp and make sure that we track their progress throughout the high school season, the club, and AAU season. From there, we build a profile for them online through our database and make sure that these kids are getting ranked and seen by coaches who are subscribed to our service. The NPH Showcase coaching staff are absolutely a vital part of this camp. Um, you know, we got all Americans, all Canadians, guys who have been drafted to the NBA, people like Kyle Julius, who's currently coaching professionally, Mike Cabongo, all American. They kind of set the foundation and provide the blueprint to these prospects that come in and are looking for exposure and development. Are you a top prospect? Are you underrated? Or just looking for competition? If you are, register today at showcase.northpolehoops.com. As always, game speaks. It doesn't matter where you're from or what background you are. How small you might be. What matters is heart, will, and effort. Prove to yourself you belong. If you can ball, the time is now. Exposures. We've traveled across the country and back. Six years running. Canada's basketball talent blossoms right before our eyes. From coast to coast. It's our job to bring it to the light. No gimmicks, 
just hard work on the hardwood. Who will step up to the plate this summer? Who will make their game undeniable and challenge every man in front of him? Game will speak. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. NPH Scouting Service. The N NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots level to the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts three-day camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure, skill development, and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at NPH's National Showcase Circuit. Back to fourth quarter action. The Cheetahs work in the paint, taking advantage of the size difference. We got 6'9", Pierre-Olivier Racine, who looks more to me like 6'10", 6 6'11". 6 and he's been aggressive in this one. J Bal Mahi is an interesting prospect for QC, number 11 in white. I'd like to see get him get more active. He's been battling with Racine, standing at about 6'7 or 6'8. Good kick out there to Kulamala from Steve Joseph. Can't get it to go. Isaiah Alexander takes it all the way. And will get to the line for two. Fortunate call there as the bigs, I thought, did a good job defensively. Time out, we'll take a quick break and be back for the final seven minutes. Rep by rep, you push yourself. Effort is only half the battle. Doubt sets in. Why do you do it? Is it worth it? The lights turn on. All your questions are answered. Seven minutes to go here in Montreal, Quebec. Thanks to everyone for joining us. Saint Laurent Express Summer Festival featuring over 170 teams from Quebec, Ontario, as well as the United States. Stay tuned throughout the rest of the day. Got some exciting games coming up as well as Championship Sunday tomorrow.
Inbound we go, F more full court pressure from Vanye. Haven't really given QC a chance to breathe. And that's what happens when you have the luxury of depth. Nice block there. The length of Pierre Olivier Racine has been felt defensively. Nice job there on the attack, but almost nearly finished it with the left. Gets his own rebound, but couldn't get it to go. Diddler Exodus goes behind the back there. Still guarded tightly by Vanier. Seems to be in their DNA to not take any possessions off. It's a formula for success. Pierre Olivier powers his way to the rim and there's not much that can be done about that guy. Number 22 in red, P.O. Racine. Impressive. Less than six minutes to go here in the fourth. And Vanier has been absolutely non-stop on the pressure. Another time out here, we'll take a quick break and be back for the conclusion here. 80-52, Vanier leads QC United. Let's keep it going. Keep the intensity high. Get your feet square. Get your feet square. Take your home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it. Master. AJ Lawson! Go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, kill him! Oh my god! Top ten. Top ten, top ten. Two-way players are the best players. Understand that. Two-way players are the best players. Here's Sabri Phillip. Two-way jam! Let's go, boy! It doesn't matter from what city you're from, how tall you are, what school, what club you represent. Game speaks. There's no politics here. Is it something that I've done again? Say what? Seeing is believing. Create your very own mixtape that showcases your top highlights and skills. Available at all NPH events. Exposure starts here. NPH events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. Now is your chance to get involved with the fastest growing sport in Canada with the industry leaders and influencers. Get in the game today and join NPH in growing basketball in this country. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. Vanya Cheetahs continue to apply pressure. And QC United 
despite some quality point guard play in Diddler Exodus, they have not been able to handle that pressure leading into turnovers and points for Vanier. Malcolm Segura with it, kicking it out. The Terrell Rowley. Good defense there for number four there for Vanier. Definitely gonna make sure I get his name. He has been all over the floor. It can't, can't talk more about his motor. Can't say enough about his intensity. He's been a definite X factor. A guy I take to war with me any day of the week. And Pierre Olivier Racine getting good post position there. And hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. The big fella has been efficient every time down. You got to keep pounding it down low, get the big comfortable because he is an absolute weapon out of Gatineau, Quebec. He will go to the line for the three point play. And another offensive rebound for Vanier. Khalifa Kulamalo comes up with it. Here comes the big fella again, back to the basket. Good vision, good IQ, kicks it out for the three. Khalifa Kulamalo knocks it down. Assist, courtesy of Pierre Olivier Racine. Look at him defensively, anchor, length. And look at, just his activity level is impressive. He's able to disrupt the offense and basically picked up that steal. Pierre Olivier Racine. Let's just say he's officially broken out. And depending on his year of birth, he is a player that the national team should be looking at. Not many guys walking around at his size with his ability. Knocked down on the first, and I hate to keep calling him number four for red because I definitely need to know his name. I'm gonna have to look at that roster. I expect that kid to be a leader for Vanier in the upcoming season. Still pressure defense on Diddler Exodus. Hasn't been an easy day for him with the ball in his hands. Here he comes, again dealing with pressure. Every defender for Vanier has been on point. On the closeout there was Joshua Kulamala, excuse me, Khalifa Kulamala. You gotta respect that from the Vanya Cheetahs up over 25, but still playing desperate. That's something that QC needs to be doing right now. He's playing with a lot more energy. Or we can expect this lead to continue to bubble with 30, 3.30 left. Diddler Exodus misses the first free throw. You can tell by the frustration on his face and the body language of the entire team. They did not come ready to play this Vandy squad.
More offensive rebounds and more points for the Cheetahs. 91 to 54 right now. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not very used to seeing a QC United squad get blown out, formerly known as Stepford. They usually come correct, but I do know that this is not the full roster. They'll be adding a lot more talent in the next month or so to the roster. Coming up next is a 7 p.m. broadcast, Red Rush versus Team New Brunswick, as well as a 9 p.m. game, Team Bibi versus Momo, a.k.a. Montmorency, another C-Jet program. But the story of this game has been, without a doubt, 6'9", Pierre-Olivier Racine, who has done damage on both ends of the floor. Less than three to go. See some new faces off the bench for Vanier. Three ball no good there. Terrell Raleigh with it. Stopped, pump fakes. Could have been a, easily been a travel there, no call. Khalifa Kulamalo on the pump fake step back. The big fella working all the way to the hole. Looked like there was a little bit of contact, no call though. I would love to have seen P.O. go stronger to the rim, keeping that ball high. Beautiful fadeaway there. And the more that we watch P.O. Racine, the better that he looks. His stock is rising right now by the possession. Shout out to Big Mac, McQueen Promise on the ones and twos. Working the live broadcast, Ollie on the camera work. Melvin Busis out. The J. Paul Mahi who attacks it. Goes hard to the rim and is fouled. That's typically been the theme. They attack hard and they will get rewarded. Beautiful day here in Montreal, Quebec. Which also happens to be my birthday, if anybody cares. We're gonna be in the gym all day. Two more live broadcasted games includes Team New Brunswick and Red Rush at 7 p.m. followed by Team Bibi and Momo. 1.30 left to go. Vanier in full control. Still playing the game as if it is a game. Trying to execute their plays. Trying to maintain their intensity. Khalifa Kulamala, another triple. That's a good looking prospect as well, 2020. Can really shoot it, but needs to improve his ball handling already at 6'5 or possibly 6'6. At least from the looks of it here, along with some length. Less than a minute to go. Before uh, QC can end their misery here. Definitely a lot to talk about, a lot to learn 
if you're QC United from this game, you can't just come out here and play half-assed. You can't come out here and just go through the motions. Otherwise, you're going to get embarrassed when you play a, a quality team. Vanier just been outworking QC. And I got to shout out the coaching staff for Vanier, Andy Herzog, and the, as well as a new addition to the coaching staff, Ben Mio, former St. Francis sniper, played at the D1 level. Also an alumni and champion with the Vanier Cheetah, CCAA champ. I got my man here all the way from New Brunswick. We're about to watch you guys uh, in, the, in the coming up game. How's, how's the trip been? It's been pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of fun, a good, um, good opportunity for the young kids. It's been a lot of fun though, a lot of growth, and it's been some bumps in the road, but it's been good. State your first, last name, as well as your position with, uh, with Basketball New Brunswick. Uh, Josh Richards, assistant coach on the South, South Div Division um, U16 development team. And all the way from New Brunswick, also an assistant coach with Roth St. Netherwood, the Riverhawks of the National Preparatory Association. What can you tell me going into year two? What's some changes that have been made, some new ro uh, roster additions? Uh, we got a big turnover. We're losing our two studs. But you can expect a lot more uh, intensity on defense. We got some height coming in, much needed height. Heard about that. Yeah, we got the Twin Towers coming in. We're pretty excited about that. In search for a good point guard right now, but when we find him, watch out because it'll be it'll be a good year too. And those are the the two players he's talking about. Is uh, that's uh, of course a Carlton commit and a University of Calgary commit, and Andrew Milner, as well as Will Spalding. Josh Richards, that was a great way to conclude this blowout game. I need someone. <laughs> I need someone to help me out here, but that will be it. 99-55, Vanier all over. QC United. Stay tuned for the upcoming games here on NorthPoleHoops.com.